The Indian forces come, they round up all the kids of the area and then look for pellet wounds. If there is anyone with any wound, they are taken away. They're not taken away to hospitals or for treatment. They are taken away for interrogation. Uh, growing up in Kashmir uh, has uh, different, uh, different perspectives to it. One is life in, uh, in one of the most beautiful places in the world. It's also referred to as uh, heaven on earth. Then there's the other side to it where you have the military presence and the BJP-led government of India passed a law within uh, the Indian parliament, uh, basically revoking the legal connection between Kashmir and uh, India. And that was, the status was changed. It was made as a centrally administered territory. Now this was done without any consultation with the opposition parties in India, without the consultation of Kashmiris themselves. And India is supposed to be the largest democracy in the world. Uh, Kashmir was a nation uh, with its own flag, with its own constitution, and it, uh, with its own head of state. So coming back to 5th of August, that was revoked with one stroke of pen. The situation with regards to uh, the conditions of the people right now, well, what can you say about, uh, about the people who have their rights torn off? Uh, stripped away at the slightest behest. We were expecting that after uh, 5th of August, this big change, Kashmir will explode because people will not take it. And personally, I was really surprised that nothing has happened or we don't know what is happening in Kashmir. The way the Indian government has uh, got the Kashmir in lockdown and using all the modern technologies, they have uh, cancelled all the internet connections, phone connections, landline connections. There are barbed wires on the streets. Uh, people cannot move. You find uh, the Indian forces uh, all around. There's about a million, million Indian security forces in Kashmir. So they have really planned it so well and they have been highly successful in subduing Kashmir. This Kashmir is completely silent. At night, the Indian forces go into houses and they arrest all the kids. They round them up and check them for pellet wounds. Pellets are used by Indian forces to fire at crowds. They're like a marking, and many people have died and many people have lost their eyesight as a result of that. If there is anyone with any wound, they are taken away. They're not taken away to hospitals or for treatment. They're taken away for interrogation. So that's, that's how the Indians have started to identify people who participate in protests. The response from the Muslim world is really poor, really poor. It just shows that the Ummah is just can't do anything for, for any part of the Ummah. Unlike the Palestinian issue, which everybody is aware of, I think that generally the Muslims and the people of the world don't know what the situation is in Kashmir. We can, we can spread the awareness. We can talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to your workplace friends. Unfortunately, uh, there's not a lot of uh, information out there to educate people as to what's happening in Kashmir and what the real story about Kashmir is. So if you are seeing this, if you're watching this video, please, please pass it on. Uh, speak up and inshallah, you will be rewarded for that, for speaking up itself, inshallah.